Thunder River. What manner of vermin lurks beneath our feet? A little Robin Hood mouse, by the looks of things. Come on, Verm, keep up. Doing my best, Lance, but your legs are twice the size of mine. Ah, this won't do at all. Here's an idea. Why don't you take the lead for a bit? You think I'm ready? I have no doubt. Am I naked? According to Dad's letter, we just follow the arrows. They point the way to the God's Food Hoard. Keep following the path. We should hit it in no time. All right, I can do this. Stay on my tail, bro. Mouse Warrior Pro Tip. Hold X to run. What a weird bridge. Looks like Under River Rat handiwork. It's crude, but it should hold. Under River Rats? Do you think there are any way any around right now? Possible. We didn't bring our weapons just for show. Are you scared? Nah. -uh. I'm not scared of anything. Like Blade Master Leo. Well then, Blade Master, lead the way. <gasps> no. Hmm, which way? This way. <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> uh, he's got like a uh, uh, paper clip in his ear or something. Not another step, you two. Or else you'll have to face the combined wrath of Brian. Hey, Art Boy. We got company. Get with the program. Stilton. Oh my god, they're named after cheeses. Not another step, you two, or else you'll have to. We've done that part already. Rest assured, sirs, we will make no trouble. My brother and I are just passing through. Ain't that easy. This is a troll bridge, you see. Don't you mean a toll road? A little bit of both, to be perfectly honest with you. There's ten seeds each to pass. No. We're not paying you flea bit and losers diddly squat. Now, now, Verm, let's show some decorum. Sirs, I'm afraid my brother and I have no seeds on our persons. Perhaps you'll be so kind as to let us through anyway. No seeds, huh? Do you smell that, Stilton? I think I do, Brie. It's the smell of a liar. Let's gut these two and scrounge the seeds from their corpses. Yo, these graphics, dude. They're awesome. Remember your training, Verm. Attack them until they fall down? Exactly. So unique. Mega shot. Got him. What's the defend like? Defend yourself. Ah. Oh. You got it, bro. Runts. Chief Saver, I'll have your head for this. Yeah, Saver the Slayer will chop you into mass meat. Do they have shoes on or are their feet pink? Saver the Slayer? Maybe the tale is true. What tale? Word in the tunnels is that a water vole fell into the Under River four seasons ago. He grew fat on water waste. So fat that the Under River rats started worshipping him as a chieftain. 
Some say he's as big as a horse and that he swings around god weapons like they're nothing. That can't be true. No rodent can grow that big. Who can say? I always thought he was a myth, just like ghosts and muss wolves. Right, just ghosts and muss wolves. Let's go find out. What? <laughs> the classic little graffiti S that everyone would draw on their schoolwork. You do the little lines first and then fill them in. Look for him, a shrine to your hero. Blade Master Leo. What's the statue doing down here? Perhaps the Under River Scoundrels built it. Even they know to respect the powers of the crown. No way, they must have looted it. I guess that's more likely. Say a quick prayer for protection. Ah, it saves. In honor of Blade Master Leo, slayer of Iron Fang, the Vulps, Vulpers, savior of Solahill Village, hero to all. Ah, then we can carry on. Got a bit loud. This is so cute, right? Like, love the style. Oh, again. Oi, chief, they're here. <laughs> Two mice? Rats, I could understand, but you're telling me you had your asses kicked by two widdle mice. Don't underestimate them, Chief. The bigger one's a scary good shot with the bow. And that little one's got fancy sword work going on. Pathetic, the both of you. I'll deal with these runts myself. Chief Saver, I presume. A pleasure to meet you in person. What a letdown. He said he was as big as a horse, Lance. Firm, mind your manners. Ha! Ah, quite a smart tongue you got there, little one. But it won't be so smart when I cut it from your mouth. So it's true. You possess a god weapon. Aye. Say hello to the Titan Reaper. This butte can cut through all creatures great and small. Mice and rats, fish and philodes. I even brought down a Nightwing one time. Lance, what do we do? Keep your nerve, Verm. Um. The Vol talks big and carries an impressive weapon. But I wonder, can he even swing something so unwieldy? Can I heck? I'm gonna carve you up like butter! Well, at least I have to fight his friends too. Mega shot. Get some defense. Come at me, you flea bitten yellow bellied losers. Don't take the bait, Verm. Oh, he's like ready for an attack or something. Ah, oh, you know, fun. Oh no, I hope nothing happens to our brother. He seems to be, like, focusing on him pretty heavily. Go on, hit me. Hit me! Hit me! Cha-cha! Oh. Do you have any health? No. Why wouldn't I just use Mega Shot every time, though? It does more damage, right? Play him. I've seen butterflies with more bite than you two amateurs. Hey. I like the little celebration, how he does a little salute. And we do a jump. Oh. Savas down. Let's get out of here. Hands in pockets the whole way. Get back here, you damn disloyal gutter rats. You've lost a lot of blood, Chief. Make your peace with the world. 
That's so dark. Ah, oh, I've long made my peace. Very well. Then this is where we part ways. Come along, fam. Yeah, you're going up to heaven, aren't you? Heaven? The gods' food hoard, just above here. We are. From one foul vermin to another. Don't bother. That place used to be paradise, but the yellow god roams the hall. All that awaits you is death. And now he falls in, yeah? So good. Ploop. Oh. He needed a last little. Oh, ploop. Farewell, chief. May your soul pass to the next world unhindered. Lance, what's a yellow god? That's a new one to me, but don't let it bug you, Verm. In all my travels, I've never seen or heard of any deadly yellow god. It's the crazed mutterings of a dying rodent. Just ghosts and muswolves. Right, ghosts and muswolves. Let's keep moving. We're almost at the horde. All right, who wants to place bets on the uh, yellow god? I think I might be able to tell. Verm, what are you doing? Look at this thing. It's... it's... Ridiculous. It's way too big. Indeed, clearly designed by gods for gods, not us rodents. Do you think a mouse could ever use a weapon like this? Like this. Maybe the strongest mouse in the world, or the craziest. Come on, we've got a mission. Any loot? A treasure map. Feeling stronger? You might have leveled up. Skills menu. Um, strength. Why can't I do that? Maybe I need to... Wait, maybe it's you. Aha! So it's ones we haven't done yet. Beautiful. This is it. Brace yourself, firm. I'm braced. Oh my god, are we like under a supermarket and that's heaven? Amazing. Ooh, traps. Careful. Heaven. Tread softly. I can't believe I haven't heard of this game until this festival. This is amazing so far. Wow. Beautiful, isn't it? Fruit, grain, meat, items I can't even describe. All neatly wrapped up and ours for the taking. We mustn't dawdle. Dad's letter says the horde is overrun with hungry gods at dawn. Oh boy, oh boy, what do we start with? Corn. Let's find some corn. Did I ever tell you about this corn that I had and... Yes, brother. And bananas and bread. And is that chocolate that I smell. Calm down, Verm. It's seeds that we want. Seeds? How boring. Boring, yes, but valuable and imperishable. Lead the way. I think they're stored at the end of this corridor. Oh my god, the graphics. Potatoes. Don't get distracted. Focus. Love this angle. Firm, wait. What? I've seen those before. They're sinister contraptions. One wrong step and BAM! The bar comes down and snaps your neck. Dad called them thunder snares. Are you serious? They look so harmless. Don't even touch them. Tread lightly. Thunder snares. Son, avoid the thunder snares. Lance, who made the thunder snare things? Gods? Indeed, they were probably left out as a warning. A warning for us. We are trespassing on holy ground. Are you scared? Nuh uh. I'm not scared of some stupid god. You don't have to put on a brave front. I'm scared too. We have each other's backs. That's what family's for, right? Yep, we stick together. He's definitely dying. I think I can almost smell the seeds. Then, lead the way. 
What's down there? It smells weird. No seeds, that's for sure. Come on. Pistachio. Wait, seeds. This is what we want. There are enough seeds in one packet to feed the village for a whole month. Help me drag it down. It's huge. How are we going to get it back past the thunder snares? We'll solve that problem when we get there. For now, just help me drag it towards Under River. I'll pull. You go around the other side and push. Are you ready? Let's do this. That's the spirit. When I give the signal, give the packet a big shuff, shove to the left. Otherwise known as a shuft. You smell something. You and your nose. Try and focus, Verm. On my mark. Oh, what's happening? It smells sweet. Not, not good sweet, though. Getting a whiff, too. It's sickly. What do we do? We stick to the mission. On my mark. I feel dizzy. Oh dear. Can you keep going? I think so, but the smell's really strong. I think it's coming from... Is... Is that... Behind the back now? Oh no. The yellow god's an exterminator? That's like a hazmat, isn't it? Did it see us? We need to get out of here now. I totally thought it was going to be a yellow cat. What about the seeds? Forget the seeds, run! Oh, careful. It hurts. Hold on. Don't move. All right. Stay calm. It's just your tail. Thank the fates. We can get you out of this. Right. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to lift the bar and you're going to squeeze out. Squeeze out. I know you can do it. When I give the signal, just push as hard as you can. On my mark. Come on, little guy. We're gonna have to cut it, aren't we? Are you pulling? Yes. Let's try again. All your might now. This isn't working. We're running out of time. I'll stall the god. Find a way to get yourself free. Lance, no! Don't do it, brother! Don't go, I'm scared. Over here, you monster. Oh my gosh, dude. Damn it all. Over here, look at me! I said, look at me! Come on! I, I got its attention. Got 
escape. Lance? Lance needs my help. Oh my gosh. Time to cut that tail. Oh, oh no, <laughs> dude. 127 hours, mouse edition. Oh no. Yo, this soundtrack. You got this. Vengeance. Rather. <laughs> he looks so sad in his eyes. Run, mouse, run. Summer. What a scene! Yo, this game's blowing me away. Rage. Is this like a segment from later in the game, or I wonder if it actually skips to this point? Look, I've got the, the pen knife. I got a god weapon now. Huh. I wonder if this is like a sort of a sampler of the game, you know? There's a cat. You should not have come here, mouse. I'm passing through to Cranbale. Let me be, I will make no trouble. Oh, you found trouble, friend. I'm the predator and you are the prey. You run, I chase. That is the way of nature. The cat's called Tiger. Amazing. Who said anything about running? Damn! What's this? A mouse wielding a god weapon. Now I've seen it all. Very well. Show me your strength. Amuse me. Rage. You're no predator. You're nothing but an overfed fuzzball. Bold words for a morning snack. <laughs> Imagine seeing a mouse fighting a cat with a pen knife. I'd be like, what did, what was in my drink? Impressive, but it takes more than that to hurt a tiger. Shere Khan vibes. Gnomed. What is this, like another character? Is that a mouse? A mouse knight? Fighting tiger. <laughs> Did the cat throw us out? We got thrown out like uh, DJ Jazzy Jeff in the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. This sword's heavy as anything. How did the mouse knight even swing it? Ow. Oh, grand, you're not dead. Steady on your feet now. Are you hurt? Don't touch that. I'm fine. Oh, he's the real deal. Pardon? I saw you going paw to claw against Tiger, blow for blow. It was the coolest thing I've ever seen. It was amazing. Well, until he sent you flying, that is. 
had to drag you here before he gobbled you up. It was a close call. You dragged me here. Where is here exactly? Oh, right. Hold on. Moly moly. Cranbale. This is where I was headed. Their burrows are deep, their convictions deeper. This is Cranbale, the Sanctuary of Knowledge. It is. Welcome, welcome. I'm Siobhan, daughter of Lady Gilda. She's the head of the village. You should come meet her. Mammy doesn't normally like visitors, but you're something special. Fine, fine. I have a question for her anyway. Uh, this game is amazing. I need the full thing now. That old tiger's a right piece of work. Can't be doing anything when he's on the prowl. Is this a shop? <laughs> welcome, welcome. Ah, oh, an outsider. Welcome to Tullia's. Take a gander at what's in stock. What'll it be? A sword capable of killing titans and gods. I see. Double-edged solid steel, is it? Sure, I'll settle for iron. Fella, look around yourself. This shop sells bits and bobs for the humble people of Cranbale. Cooking ware, mining equipment, linens and such. This isn't a royal armory, Egypt. Well, do you have anything I can use? I can do you a pair of high-quality mole-made boots. Good for hiking or mining, and only five seeds. It's a fair price. What do you say? Five seeds for these boots? Grand. Old boots. This village has seen enough adventure. So wait, how do I equip boots? And do they appear on my character? Let's see. Where are the boots I bought? Maybe it's not in. The Crown is happy to take our seed for taxes, but where's their support when we need it, eh? I can't play. My mum says it's not safe out. The library. Can I help you? The Yellow God. Do you happen to have any books on the Yellow God? Can't say I've heard of such a thing. But in any case, we don't specialise in God studies here. Our collection's mostly historical and religious texts. Books on the old way, documents on the legacy of the Shrew Empire, that sort of thing. That's no good to me. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is the council room. Ready to go in? <laughs> is that a hedgehog? That's hilarious. Siobhan, shouldn't you be studying? Who's this outsider? Oh, yes. Introductions. That's Lawmaster Morvin on the left. Blade Master Nemain, the hedge knight. And Mammy. I mean, Lady Gilda of Cranbale. Mammy, this is... I didn't get your name. Verm. Right. Sir Verm. Sir not a knight. Really? Anyway, Mammy, I saw this guy fighting Tiger. He was swinging around a god weapon like nobody's business. That stupid cat had no idea what he was dealing with. I think this guy might actually be able to... Calm yourself, young lady. S sorry, Mammy. Mouse, you fought the Felidae. Felidae? Is that like their word for feline, or is that a real word? With a god weapon? What can I say? Rodent weapons are so brittle. Such arrogance. To fight a god's pet with a god's weapon. This is sacrilege. Sacrilege of the worst kind. In accordance with the laws of the old way, punishment is in order, my lady. Want me to put him in the stockade? Try it, pinecone. See what happens. Oh man, Verm's gone rogue. He's gone bad since he lost his bro. Everyone quiet. This mouse is a visitor. He's not bound by our local customs. We won't punish you, mouse, but we won't help you either. Do whatever it is you came to do and take your leave. 
Fine, didn't plan on sticking around anyway. Before I go, I need some information. Looking for the one known as the Yellow God. The Yellow God? I'm afraid we don't know any gods on a first name basis around here except for Cormac, I suppose. Have you heard of this Yellow God, Lord Master Morvin? I'm afraid not, my lady. Perhaps this mouse should head to Morida. One million mice and rats live there. Nobles, merchants, academics. I'm sure one of them could be of assistance. That was going to be my next destination anyway. Very well. Take your leave, mouse. Severn, wait up. Siobhan, may I have a word? Mingling with blaspheming vagabonds is the most unbecoming of a young lady. Stop calling me young lady. You know I hate it. Young lady, you are nobility. Know your place and return to your studies. Studies? Mammy, that fella day is killing us off one by one and you aren't doing anything to stop it. Not another word. What would your father have said if he saw you mingling with a vagabond? Oh, Dar's not here, is he? Siobhan! That rock-headed child. She thinks herself a warrior, her father's daughter, all right? Hold your tongue, Blade Master. Yes, my lady. Sorry, my lady. Let me guess. Your mum told you off for hanging around with strangers. Verm, you're just leaning against the wall with one foot up like that, waiting for her to come out. He, like, flicks a cigarette when she just as she comes out. It's, like, half finished. He's like, hey, girl. Wait, are you crying? No. It's nothing to be ashamed about. Mammy's so damn stuck up. Ever since Dar died, she's been obsessed with following the old way to the letter. No god tools, no god interference at all. What good's that doing us? How does cowering in a burrow help anyone when Tiger's on the prowl? I get it. Hey, I get it. Most rodents would rather hide away than face real issues head on. You seem like a smart kid. I'll make I'll sure I'm sure you'll make it through. Wait. Before you go, can I show you something? It'll only take a minute. One minute? Yes, just something in the library. Hey kid. What's going on? I'm guessing people can like join our party and stuff. Um from the fight, you know, having our brother with us. Probably get some really cool characters to go with. Are you behaving yourself, Siobhan? I am, Auntie Inogen, of course. Mm-hmm. Shouldn't you be studying? I should, but I was just going to show this visitor the illuminated manuscripts. Mm-hmm. Stay out of trouble, young lady. Your mother worries about you. I know. Illuminated manuscripts? Follow me. I'm not interested in some old books. Never mind the books. I've got something better. Illuminated manuscripts. What's this going to be? You can't tell anyone about this, all right? Especially not Mammy. Sure, whatever. I'm serious, promise. All right, I promise. A tunnel? I dug it myself, come on. Treasure trove. It's a Game Boy and a phone. God tools. I've been secretly collecting and studying for a whole season now. You see this? It's a God's timekeeper. I can't read the runes yet, but I'm getting there. Oh, <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, it hurts. It's so cute. This machine's a fancy God's toy, I think. I watched a young one play with it for hours. It turns on, but the screen's all banjaxed, so I reckon it's missing a part. This is all fascinating, truly. But if you brought me down here just to show me your trinket collection... Wait, wait, you, you'll really like the next one. Do you know what this is? I've seen them around. They're a common god tool. Even better, a god weapon like yours. I've got it working. I spruced it up to pack a proper punch. It's in need of a field test. I thought I could use it, 
on Tiger. Give him what for? Maybe save the village. But I don't think I can. Not because I'm scared, I mean. I am scared, of course, but... I get it. You do? You want to take that fella day down. But you know attacking Tiger yourself would be suicide. The other moles in this village just sit on their tails and rant about the old way. You want me to lend my sword? Right. Pretty much. Could you? Sorry to disappoint. I don't do sell sword work. Sell sword work? I couldn't pay you if I wanted to. The village is flat out broke. I was hoping you would do it, you know, because you're a chivalrous knight. Like I said, I'm not a knight, and I didn't come here to do charity work. So go rally the thimble guard or something. I'm out. <sighs> I'm not running away. Severm, are you okay? Oh, he's like got PTSD from running away and leaving his brother because he was so scared. That's awful. You're really... Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much, Cam Cam, for the 11 months. Appreciate it. You're really pitiful, you know that? Uh, yeah, I know. I'll help you. Vum! Don't be a bully. Really? Yeah. We'll go kill that fella day, feel a day, feline cat. You can reap the glory or restore your village honor or whatever. Just make sure to follow my orders. Yes, sir, um, to the letter. I'll go wait by the lift. Oh, they have the battery on their back, so cute. Thank you so much, sir. Um. Siobhan has joined the party. Well, at least if it all goes wrong, she'll make a good distraction. Cool. This is, like, really cool. This, um... This might be, like, one of the best demos I've played since Beacon Pines. This is very exciting. Da -da -da -da. Is this a save point? What is this thing? Creepy looking, even by the statue standards. It's Cormac, the village's watchful protector. Not doing a very good job, is he? No, I guess he's not. Cormac, the watchful stares blankly. Saved. Oh, it could be a lighter, actually. Yeah. Mm, a flamethrower. That's beautiful. I guess we'll find out in a second. The warrior mouse returns. And with a mole this time. Don't tell me the little kitty's scared of being outnumbered. Scared. All I see before me are an entree and a main course. Wait, are you calling me fat or her fat? Because... Go ahead, mouse and mole. Use your god weapons. They won't save you. That's a big cat. Hold your nerve, mole. Hold my nerve. I'm done holding my nerve. I'm gonna unleash fire and fury. The soundtrack is so good. Light him up. What's the smack do? Just hits them with it. Gotta use the fire. Super! Bleeding. Oof, my health. Uh-oh. Ooh, do I have health? Ah. It's not good. The 
bleeding stopped. How much health do you have? Get a point back. Super! This fight's hard. Oh boy. The longest lived and the shortest lived mouse when they come to die lose one and the same thing. Emperor Marcus. Hmm. I guess I've got to keep using that flame. Let's try. I have returned. I don't have any healing potions, is the thing. We need a healer. Rage up. Then we use our Rage Swipe. And that's doing as much damage as hers. She's got another two points. Golly, she's nearly dead already. Do you have any items? Nothing. Okay, defend to get a point up. Bleeding. Rage subsided. So we're only doing half when we're not raging. That's so much damage too. Shoot. Not enough energy to defend. Maybe we need to like buy some potions at the village. Ah, oh, I meant to do rage. Guess it's just you and me now, kitty. Let's go. <laughs> the cat's so catch like. Nyeh. Come on, farm. Oh. <laughs> the best revenge is to be unlike the one who wronged you. Let's see if we can get some potions. <laughs> Tough fight. I, uh, like, don't even really play those kinds of, like, Final Fantasy-style fighting turn-based games. I love turn-based combat, but not in that style. But this, I'm loving this. Wait, you're not gonna sell me stuff? There's gotta be some potions. That, that fight is so hard. A rodent's life is short, a written story is eternal. Oh. You look like a sturdy lad, you're a warrior, are you not? I am. I knew it, you got warrior eyes. I was a fighter in my youth too, a member of Merida's Thimble Guard and all. I'm sure. Ah! Don't give me lip, lad. I may be past my prime, but I've had more fights than you've had dinners. I've got years of battle-tested wisdom to offer. Go on then, what's the key? Weaknesses. Everyone has a weakness. If you use the right type of attack, you can exploit it. The right type of attack? You really are young. How can I put this? There are four kinds. You've got your slashing attack, that swords and such, and there's a bashing attack, hammers and blunt instruments, spears and pikes, you've a piercing attack, and the fourth kind is... is, uh... Special attacks, like fire, water, whatever. You're making this up as you go. Shut your bake! This system's famous. Everyone has a weakness, find and exploit it. What about cats? 
Oh, you're talking about Tiger. I wish I knew. I've seen more warriors slash, bash, and stab that kitty, but his fur's too damn thick. No, if someone wanted to take that monster down, they'd have to do something truly special. Hmm, interesting. A mouse sword. When you cut a rodent, when cut a rodent bleeds, small cuts heal on their own, but large cuts cause severe blood loss. Treat heavy bleeding with bandages. Wait, what's that berserk? Because that's what we can do. A berserk individual will eventually calm down with a therapist may leave <laughs> future outbursts. Oh. Okay, I guess we just gotta like fight smart. Yeah, skill points. That's well reminded actually. I was about to check that. That's a good idea. That might be what we're missing. Um, Berserker class. Health? Okay, so there's a little bit more health there. What about you? You could do attack or health by two? Nope, she hasn't leveled up. Okay. <laughs> Give it one more go. Kitty. Hold your nerve. Let's see what um what does defending get us? Like do we still take damage when we defend? I'm gonna hit that fire. So then, you, wait, no. Rage it up. Oh. Stop attacking her. Stay alive. So now you defend. Nice. Bleeding. Super. Yeah, keep attacking me. It's fine. Keep it going. Rage subsided. Okay, so then... Keep swiping. You defend. Hopefully get a skill point back. Come on, come on! The cat just seems so unbothered. It's got. Oh my god, we did it! Nice. Perfect. Level up. Firm learned cleave. We did it. We actually did it. But we didn't land a killing blow. Doesn't matter. That kitten won't be bothering the village anytime soon. Come on, let's give Mother the good news. We did it. Anything in here? Oh. Quite a nice kitchen. Quite a nice kitchen indeed. That cat was just hungry. Empty bowl. Save. Let's go. <laughs> Why are you still here, Vagabond? I thought I made myself clear. Mammy, you'll never guess what. Sir Verm and I fought off Tiger. We actually did it. You, you slayed the cat. Well, we didn't quite slay it, but we certainly sent him running. That mangy monster will be licking his wounds for seasons. My word, Sean. I knew you were no dainty lady, but this is something else. Don't you have anything to say, Mammy? I do. You disappoint me, Siobhan. I disappoint you. I freed us from Tiger's tyranny. 
you short-sighted fool of a daughter. What will happen if the gods see us as a threat? Blades and poison, fire and water, they would rain hell on us. It would be the end of Cranbale. Mammy, get out. Fine. Come on, Verm, I'll see you to the entrance. No, Shaborn, leave. Leave. You want to be a warrior so much like your father was. You want to tinker with god tools and fight titans. Fine, you've got your wish. I'm exiling you from Cranbale Village. Mammy. Go on, leave. Don't come back. Firm, wasn't it? You've caused enough damage here, I think. Whatever. <laughs> you know, I came here because I heard Cranbale was the gathering place of the smartest minds in Rodentia. But all I found are stubborn idiots. Do you want to follow the old way or do you want to survive? The old way is survival. The old way is dead. Siobhan gets that. Why can't you? Get out! Was I too harsh on Siobhan, Lawmaster? A harsh lesson is sometimes needed, my lady. But perhaps, if it would ease my lady's worries, I could send a butterfly. A butterfly? To the, to the king! I forgot my voice for a second. To the king! A formal request to overwatch the girl should she enter Morita. Very well. Where'd she go? I feel like we should be inviting her on the quest. But she's up here. Probably waiting for us, right? Oh, there you are. What am I supposed to do now? Anything you want. Can I come with you? Anything but that. I've got a job to do. They say that two people shorten the road. Don't follow me. I said don't follow me. You're a liability. Was I a liability against Tiger? You are okay. Just okay. But you're going to Merida, right? I can help you get there. I don't need a chaperone. Sevam, I know I'm not the greatest fighter. I don't know what this yellow god is that you're after. But I want to learn and I want to help. What do you say? Fine. We'll go to Merida together. After that, who knows? Thank you, Savam. I won't let you down. There's a chest up there. Bow, bow, bow on the street. Which way is it? Dilbutter Road. Just garbage. This could make for a good spot to climb the wall. Well, how do I jump, though? Wait, we leveled up. Hang on. Ooh. Um, defending recovers one point. They need more health, for sure. Oh, wait. Maybe I'm going to, like, move this. What's this? Garbage. Come on. We've got a lot of walking to do. Uh... Is there someone out there? No. Oh, my bad. Savam. Someone's stuck in there. We have to help them. We're never going to make it to Marita if we get sidetracked by every idiot in distress. Oi! headed to Merida. I could fly you there. Fly? Of course, that's a carrier basket over there. This person must be a majestic carrier raven. Severn, this is a golden opportunity, a free ticket to Merida. Direct flight would save a lot of time, weeks even. All right, sit tight, bird. Cool beans? Eh, cool beans, I'm not going nowhere. <laughs> 
Now can I move this? Or climb? Hey. What's it gonna be? Like a pigeon or something? It's so not gonna be what she thinks it is. This lid looks pretty heavy. Will I be able to lift it? Guess I won't know until I try. I need to show Servam I'm not a liability. There must be some way I can help. How will you help? How will you be of use? Can you climb up there as well? No. On the wheel? Don't know what it wants. No. Oh, what's that? I knew it. All kinds of grand things in there. Pointy sticks, a rubbery cube. Brute strength didn't work. Maybe I can stab this lid open. Savam, I found something. Junk? Not just any old junk. Give me a second. <laughs> the heck did she find? A ruler. You built a seesaw. A lever. Basic mechanics. If we both jump as hard as we can on that end, the lid will go flying. Will it really? Trust me. Are you ready, bird? Hey, ready for what now? They're ready. Fine, let's give this a shot. On three. One, two. <laughs> it's a pigeon. Oh my days, I almost died in there. No idea how you two busted me out, but mad respect. How'd you even get stuck in the first place? So... Like... You know that thing where you smell a bit of food and you follow it, and the next thing you know, you're stuck in a box surrounded by garbage. Yeah. Oh yeah, name's Dizzy, by the way. Pleasure to meet you, Dizzy. I'm Lady Siobhan, and this is Sir Verm. I'm not a knight. Hey, he says you two were headed to Merida, the road and capital, right? That journey's a breeze, just a short flight southwest of here. I can take you right away. Are you sure? That's so kind of you. Hey, it's the least I can do for getting me out of that thing. Hop in the basket. <laughs> the fact that it said, Oh my days. We're off to the road and capital. Hold on tight, cause I ain't stopping if you fall. Let's go, fam. Way. I'm in control. Southwest, it said, right? There it is. Feels like this might be the Thames or something. This London. This London. It is. The stations, Merida, had a good flight. Yeah, pretty smooth. What did you think, Siobhan? She's gone. Yeah, moles ain't built for flying. Anyways, Merida's though got her over there. I'll take you to a pipe that goes down, way down to under river level. So Merida lies below us. Just what kind of fancy god building is this place, anyway? Beats me, mouse gang. Us pigeons just call it the Belfry. The gods call it the Western Place. It's just some old building they use for bureaucratic work. But we won't see any godly business because Murida lies below the floorboards. The Rodent City and the Godly City. Two societies that are so close but never overlap. Guess you're feeling better? Oh, I suppose I am. Thank you for the trip, Mr. Dizzy. No probs. You two got me out of a real pickle. Feel free to stop by if you need to go somewhere else. That's our little, our little transport now. You pigeon. No. The Under River. 
This must be the bloody bridge. Connects to the city's east gate. The rapid water below is the moat of Merida. The current in the moat is so intense that anyone who falls in is swept straight out to sea. You sure know, sure know a lot about ran a random bridge. It's a famous bridge, Severm. Walls have been decided on this very choke point. Fascinating. I think I see the gate ahead. The copper doors of Merida's east gate. The famous city beneath the city is just beyond here. Uh, state your business. Our business is our own, nosy. Sever, um, be nice. The verification of all migrants and visitors is standard Merida procedure. I apologize for my companion. He's just a little cranky from the long journey. I'm not cranky. <clears throat> state your business. Our business, we are... Hmm. Warriors. Warriors. Swords for hire. Pah. Every vagabond who picks up a weapon thinks themselves a valiant Sarah sword. On the king's orders, Merida's border is closed. There's no admittance, especially for vagabonds like yourself. Good day. Can you maybe make like a... He's gone. E2 over here. Want this chest first. Three seeds. <laughs> Bex, the wee bookkeeper didn't let you pass, I. Eh? Pardon? Beg your pardon. Ah, you had a hearing, lad. I said the wee bookkeeper didn't let you pass, I. Eh? Right. No matter. There's another route. I'll not be keeping this voice going. I can tell you that right now. See this door? It's a service tunnel that goes to Marida. It's a labyrinth. And I know the way. So you'll be our guide. Great. What's your price, Harlequin? Price? I'm no fool. You want seeds, right? Nah, I didn't want your seeds. Just your skills. It's gonna kill me though. I'm gonna cough in a second. Our skills? <laughs> your warriors, <laughs> The outfit, dude. Is this a squirrel? Sometimes there's a few wee bugs on the path. I reckon you could bash them silly. If it's just a few wee bugs, why don't you fight them yourself? I'm a bard, not a fighter. A lousy pacifist. I think that's a very fair offer, Mr. Squirrel. What do you say, Sevam? Bugs are pushovers. I say we have a deal, Squirrel. I Red squirrels are super rare here. It would have been a grey... Magic. Name's Bruce, by the way. Verm. And I'm Lady Siobhan. No, wait. Just Siobhan. Nice to meet you, Bruce. Pleasure to meet you both. Let's not waste any more time. Bruce has joined the party. <gasps> da -da 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 -da. You look so big. Oh, I almost forgot. Don't even think of using the service tunnel because one of our engineers was eaten by... There they come. Nope. Not my fleas, not my circus. <laughs> Beauty can be found in all things. Me. We'll only do an hour on each game. We have so many demos to get through. Also me. Completely sucked into this. Have to play it through to completion. The labyrinth. What denizens lurk within? We got a problem. Our route goes via this tunnel. But it's all clogged with fat and gunk and god knows what. So we dig? You're welcome to get your hands dirty, lad. But I ain't touching that foul blob. I got a better idea. This is an under river pipe, right? So there must be a way to control the water flow. If we can increase the pressure, the blockage will pop right out. You're a smart one. I reckon that just might work. Let's go find a tap or a lever or something. The distant sound of running water. The ocean floor was my domain. I dined on fish to keep me sane. What was that? 
What was what? Nothing. I must be hearing things. Hmm. Wow, that actually worked. Nice job, both of you. Let's press on. A foul roach. Just a wee bug. Oh, so you're literally not going to help. Near bother, you got this. Fine, help me out, Siobhan. Nice. Cats, not afraid of our roaches. Hmm. A button shield. A butt shield. So now we gotta do that one. Looks like another blocked pipe, fellas. What a pain. No point dawdling. This one says number two. The other one would be number three. The sea went dry as fish ran few. I ventured far for something new. Did you hear that? Just the gurgle of the pipes, lad. I think I heard it too. It's a voice, but not one from any rodent I know. What's that gonna be? I'm so curious. Another pipe, unclogged of god filth. Hey mouse, I can't help but notice. You didn't have a tail. So what? Just curious where it went, Saul. The yellow god took it. Yellow god. Severm is looking for him. He's headed to Merida to find leads. Then I'm gonna kill him. Wait, what? A mouse who wants to kill a god. You're one mad lad. damage. That's a lot of damage. Last one, I swear. Merida is right on the other side of this pipe. Bruce, why are you headed to Merida anyway? Gonna busk for seeds? Not quite. Meeting up with my b my bandmate. Then we're gonna head to Sky Garden to play music for the Scroll Duke. Oh, I've always wanted to see the Sky Garden. Don't bother. Here, the squirrels are a violent bunch. Damn, that's so rude. Nah, yeah, it's true. Sky Garden's ruled over by Clan Grey. They've long earned their reputation as a bunch of nasty bampots. So it's like a red squirrel, and because the, the greys did kill all the red ones, didn't they? Let's get this over with. Okay. Does this one have a number? Five. So the last one we did was, what, three? So we've got to go in this one instead. Oh no, that's where we came out of. Did we do four? I can't remember how many we've done. Do the other one first. Oh, oh god. Four. And then five. Avoid those fights. Bum 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 bum. 
soundtrack is amazing. Oh, and I've got to find number six, huh? Nice joke. A copper statue, damaged by the elements. Oh! An avarice spider. Gross. Oh, don't like it. Give me the creeps. Get out the box, you little twerp. Burn it with fire. just so many exciting ways this game could go, like the companions you could have, the different kinds of characters you could meet. This is absolutely rich for all kinds of exciting stuff. Why did you do that? You add it to your trinkets. So I've probably got to fight these ones, huh? Wherever they were. For the final spot. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Get our rage up. I love it when a game just takes you completely by surprise and blows you away. Pursuing tastes of sweeter meats, I braved foul streams for gourmet treats. That sounded pretty close. Aye, I can't deny I heard that one. What's it gonna be? What could it be? What would be down here? What did you get us into, clown? My god, what is that? Just a wee bug, you've got this. That's not a bug, you flea bitten fool. Looks like the deep sea denizens I've read about. Did it come all this way for a meal? Now here I stand, thy lives forsaken. Commit my name, for I am Kraken. Kraken. Bruce, we could really use your help with this. Aye, right you are. I'll play a tune to raise your spirits. That's not helpful! It do be a tune though. Ooh, resisted uh, the fire there. Yeah. 
Mm. Oh, stunned. Heal. Let's heal, Sean. Nice, a healer, dude. Ow, spanked. Energy, it might die. Yep. Finish him off, Lady Siobhan. I like that the flute is a pencil. or anything. Ah, that's unfortunate. It's a powerful heal. Bloody were. I don't want to fight that spider again. Did we turn this one? No, no. Skip that fight. Skip that fight, baby. I should have saved it after all the fighting. Shield. We did get a shield. I don't know if it was something that was equipable though, because I got some boots earlier and they weren't anywhere to be seen. Super. Kiss slice. I was not expecting it to be a bloody squid. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you this for free. Let's have a look if it is somewhere. Or if we have a level up actually too, that's very would be helpful. Oh. 
about you? And then... Doodle -de -doot -de -doot. Yeah, see? No inventory yet. Maybe, it's, maybe the inventory system isn't in yet. Let's go. Okay, so I can't actually get to the save because it's just here. Do you guys know what kind of sounds squids make? <laughs> the troll urge to just loudly do that into the microphone there. Here we go. All right, we won't bother with our fire attacks this time. All the bonuses to our man here. Cleave him up. I, that uses both of my moves though. Actually, when he gives me Oh no, I get a boost here. Okay, cool. I do get to swipe again. Noise. And when you take damage, you get a point back, so that's perfect. But you are stunned, unfortunately. Blank, 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 blank. Keep smacking. No longer stunned. Encore. On verm. Leave him up. Gotta get that rage back too. That's fine. Keep hitting him. It's fine. We're fine with that. Might want to heal yourself, possibly. those heals up. Good idea, because then we're stunned, so that was very needed. Let's get the rage. Bruce. I guess Bruce works for a Scottish name. I always think of it as Australian, though. But then I had an Australian friend called Bruce growing up. Um... Save up for a cleave. And then... Uh, hit him with a heal. Ah, uh, damn. Gonna die. Gonna die. Bruce. What strength such tiny creatures bear. You force my flight to an empty lair. Nice. What did I tell you? Just a wee bug. An ocean monster doesn't count as a wee bug. Near bother, you had it in the bag. I don't appreciate being deceived. I got Nout to hide. Oh yeah, then why wear a mask? Why are you two fighting? We're nearly at Merida. You're all friends, right? What's done is done. Nay point squabbling. I guess. No. 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 <laughs> Every time. This is Merida? You've reached the end of the demo! Dude, best demo I've played since Beacon Pines. Amazing.